Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing an early look at the uh, contest sim simulation builds for this evening's Seattle Giants uh, showdown slate. We're not going to get too deep into the weeds with uh, what players we like. We're just really just going to practice using the contest sim tool on SaberSim uh, using the TrueDFS projections. Just to see, you know, how we can take advantage of these new capabilities that are being offered to us. Uh, trying to find uh, a little bit better construction, uh, a little bit better portfolio construction, trying to find lineups that have a shot to win and yet are not going to be duped like way too often. Uh, more directly, we're trying to find lineups that fit the contest that we're entering. You know, if we're entering a contest that's only paying, you know, 16% for first and only 100 people, we don't have to be quite as off the board. Where if you're, you know, going for that Millie Maker prize, page 40% for first against, you know, 100,000 people or whatever, then you have to be much more off the board. Um, we're playing a, a, several different contests today. And what I did was this time I preloaded the contest sim settings into here just to kind of review what they are. So I'm playing four things today. I'm playing more than I usually do. I'm playing the, uh, the lottery, which is a million for first. And I put in... The contest size, you know, 132,000 people, 45% for first and 20% entries paid. And then the other thing we're playing, just to see the difference here, we're playing this two point conversion. And this one is only 2,500 people and pays only 20% for first. So you have to be a little, you know, you don't have to be quite as off the board for this one. And then we're playing the four point conversion, which is a little bigger buy than we usually play. Uh, but, you know, there's, very little baseball coming up. So we have a little more money to spend around. Uh, this one's only 300 people and it's only 22% for first. So even less important to get off the board here. And then the last one we're playing, we're playing the world championship qualifier. And this one's really interesting because basically it's a hundred percent for first. Um, there's 200 people in a hundred percent. I mean, it's really not, it is a hundred percent pretty much for first more, more 95%, I guess, because they do pay some amounts as other people and only 5% of entries paid. So this is going to be an interesting one to see. So I'm curious to see what these lineups look like um, when I don't make any changes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm going to build with a minimum as uh, a maximum salary as well. Just kind of see what the difference is. Um, and we'll practice with the entry editor to, to, to figure out how to use this. So the first thing we want to do is, well, let's upload our projections here first. I mean, it doesn't matter whether, whether you say we're sims or ours, it's the same process. process. But let's, let's put in the, um, let's put in these. Uh, our ownership projections and let's just build some lineups. So we're going to build, let's see what we're building, 50%, oops, build settings. Let's build five, well, we're building 5,000, but we're going to rank the top 50, I guess. Actually, I might have 51 lineups or so. So let's, let's rank the top 52, actually. Build lineups. And we're not making any changes. We're not going to leave any money on the table on purpose. I'm just very curious to see if it does it already before I force it in. Because what we're trying to do is, is, is have a tool that'll help us generate uniqueness without having to force some settings in ourselves. And according to the Saber Center, that's what it purports to do, is to try to come up with the right lineups to fit the contest that we're running it against. So um, if it means the goal is to get unique, I would imagine that it would leave money on the table, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. So we're going to see. Now, normally, when you have a slate that looks like this, you're not going to get money left on the table naturally because there are very few really good-looking, you know, $200 players. Um, so if, if you do get these guys in, it'll probably be – well, if you do get money left on the table, I imagine, if at all, it'd probably be unnatural. Because if you just go to the median projections, you're probably going to get, you know, the the you know the, the guys that rate the highest. I mean, you don't really have that great looking cheapos here. 
I mean, the majority was going to come from, you know, Daniel Jones, Geno Smith, Metcalf. I mean, the, the cheapest guy over 10 points is 6,400. Cheapest guy over five points. I mean, even under six points, you got Wandale Robinson projected for five. I mean, he's 3K. I mean, that's okay, I guess. And then these real cheapos, you have them with like four projection points, and that really just doesn't amount to too much. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't get there. Remember, the way the results distribute in the NFL, if one of these guys makes a touchdown, I mean, you're already like doubling your, your projection. But it's much harder to double your projection, you know, double your projection up here, especially based on one play. So, so we're building 5,000 lineups here, and we're going to see what we get. And again, we are not doing anything with respect to settings. We're not doing anything with respect to stacks or anything like that. And the other thing I'm not doing, as you can see, I'm not, you know, going to pause this and say, I'll pick it up when it's done. I want, I want you guys to see how long this takes. So then you know how much time to, you have to allocate for showdown slates when you do this. Usually it goes a little bit faster. But it is what it is. I mean, when you only leave yourself five minutes to build lineups and then you don't get it done, you can't say, oh, bye, it usually runs faster. You got to learn, you know, give yourself a little bit of a cushion. Really curious to see how quickly this runs for NBA when, you know, you get those late, that late news that changes everything. Let's see. I mean, I'm, project, I'm predicting that that Daniel Jones is going to be the best, you know, the highest owned player. Yeah, I actually have him below Geno Smith. In the flex, at least. Captain ownership. Yeah, that's still from Geno. And I don't I didn't separate captain ownership from from uh, from flex ownership. And normally, like I said, if I didn't do it, do this in advance, I could have set these contest sim things um, while this was running, but I just did it in advance this time. Um, did, I wouldn't think that I would have had a time after I hit this button, but it turns out I probably could have. All right, let's see, we're gonna see what it looks like first. And all this is step one. Like step one is just doing this. And you see a lot of these lineups, I mean, quite honestly. Ooh, there's a, a Bobo. Okay. So quite honestly, like a lineup like this is 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 I don't think is ever being unique in the in the lot. Nor is anything like this, nor is anything, oh, nor is anything like this. So we are gonna probably have to do some kind of hoodoos, but I mean, like something like this might with the um with the other uh, Bobo, you, know, you get Bobo in there and leave two K on the table. And that 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 could be something. But okay, let's um run a contest and we're gonna run our simulations against all of the um. They're they're here somewhere. Trust me, I I did save the contest sim settings. You saw me save. And we're going to save these to my to my entry editor, and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to do it again with the uh, leaving money on the table. All right, so let's see what these look like. MME lottery. We're going to sort by ROI. I mean, and nothing seems like. I mean, I'm just eyeing this. And while it says that we're supposed, these are supposed to be, you know, lottery type lineups. I mean, I guess. I guess these, I'm just kind of just gazing at these. Maybe I'm too greedy. Maybe I feel as though, maybe I just see a little bit more possibilities for all these lineups. I mean, what you're looking to do is try to find lineups that look like they have no chance. Um, but all these look like they have a chance, which is a little annoying. 
But actually, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. So for now, we're going to save these into the, uh, the lottery. Right here, save. We're going to download our template. These are this is our entry file. We're going to upload this here. And we're going to save these to uh, Monday Night Millie Makers. So this is 51. That's okay. It'll do that automatically. You saw this thing jiggle, which is good. Uh, now we're going to go to some of the, the higher buy-in stuff. So let's go to the two-point conversion. We're going to re-rank them with this in mind. And it doesn't didn't really change all that much. And we only need one lineup. So it really is just take the top lineup from the set, um, which is fine. And this looks like a very reasonable 222 type lineup. And we're going to put that in the two-point conversion. Uh, it's taking a little while to save, it looks like. All right, so now we're going to go to uh, a four-point conversion, which is a little bit bigger buy-in. Maybe it changed. Yeah, it changed a little bit. And we'll save that to the four-point conversion. And then we're going to the spy. Oh, we didn't do the spy, did we? All right, we'll do that one now. Hold on. Um, we go to settings from here. Somehow it's, where's the contest sim? It's near the bottom. Uh, can't quite tell where the contest sim is. Settings, contest sim settings. Let's do another, let's do the one for the, uh, for the spy. Call this the spy, it's single entry. And that one, I'm reading it off of my lobby over here. Uh, spy. Is 1,111 entries. How much for first? Um, it looks like 20% for first. Very good. So we'll save this one here. Boom. And so now we'll, what we'll do is we'll go back into lineups and now we'll compare that to the, to the spy ROI. And it's a little bit different. Okay, fair enough. But I kind of like this. It's, 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 it's really distinguishing between the particular settings that I'm putting in here as the spy. Now I wonder what I'm getting. I'll get to this, this, um, this uh, qualifier. See what this is, ROI. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how this is winning by itself, but I, you never know. So we'll put this in qualifier, save the contest. You were only downloading one of your entries. What did I forget to do? What did I forget to do? Let's do this again, enemy lottery. We have them all here, 51, 51. What's wrong with, what's wrong with this build here? Why do I not have unique random? Let's see what this entry file looks like. This looks pretty good. I don't know what the problem is here with this. So let's put that in. Enter this. All right, very good. Um, the only thing I worry about is that it's just not What, you know what I like? I like actually that the lineups that are in the, um, that I have no dupes. In other words, there's no, there's nothing that's in both the 222 and in the 444 or whatever, and, and in and the lottery. But also I love is that these are let, getting money in on the table naturally. This is really strong. I mean, this really, this really gives actually the impression that 
the algorithm is doing what I want, which is ex it's extremely good. So we're actually going to leave it like this. And that's like really the first thing I do is when you get things that leave money on the table but naturally, then you don't have to force it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that'll do it for my for the early look at, uh, at DraftKings for the Giants uh, Seattle game tonight. And I hope that was instructive. I probably do. A, I might do an update a little bit later when projections change. Um, and I might do a, you know, kind of a deeper dive into the game, but that's really just kind of not my thing. All right. That'll do it. Good luck, everybody.